the three. Are you just gonna pop a whole garlic clove? And then once like more. Are you guys both doing this? Mm. Yeah, get some garlic. This is our natural antibiotic mm. super. Okay, it is my last day in the big city. Tonight's super late, I'm flying out with Thoreen. But in the meantime, I have a really important meeting this afternoon. In fact, that's what's been happening behind the scenes the past few weeks. Just non-stop meetings. They're with really important, deep, positive purpose. I just can't share. Hey, what's up, man? Shout out. <laughs> I just can't shout out what they're all about for now because you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do and reveal when you gotta reveal. So, in the meantime, I'm just walking into an area here in Makati, that's RCBC Plaza behind me, big tower. It's actually where the Canadian Embassy is and the German Embassy and lots of embassies. Uh, I saw on Google Maps there's a shaka. I'm hungry, it's 12.30. Hey, mister, how are you, boss? I think that's Kabul. Oh, in a back noon? Yeah, of course. Mahalap na <laughs> yeah, for sure, man. Thanks, Thanks man. Have a great day. Have a great day. All right, smoothie bowls. Beautiful area, a big park here on the left. This is La Viste Street, LP La Viste. Tropical peach bowl is my favorite because you can use a cinnamon stick and dip and eat with it. It's so fun and the figs on top. Iced coconut latte, first time I had it. It's awesome. That's a good place. Check out the park. Super cool. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Saucedo area where the buildings are a little bit shorter than the super major ones in Makati. I have a meeting in an hour and a half. I just did some work on my computer. See you later. I'm not Nicolas this time. I'm becoming Filipino. Uh, I told you those things are everywhere, huh? Where is it? Over there. Pick up coffee. Uh, this is a dirty chai. My meetings are done. It's the evening. Ended up glory out of four. I gotta hop in a grab, go to the airport, let's see green. Love, where are we going? We're going home. We're going to Davao. Yes, I think I'm gonna do it long. <laughs> you don't like the smell? <laughs> ah, you don't like the smell, man. That's what? Weird. What have you done? We have. Right. You've ooey after us. <laughs> look, look at. But in the car? In the car? Open the windows. We're going over the mountain. Therene is snacking on manga, sinkamas, and ouya, little fermented shrimps on the fruits. Just give them back to her, get them away. So this is the start of your marriage, Anna <laughs> Hey, I, actually, actually, in honest truth, I do like when there's a really oily, thick bag on ouya. You know what I mean? You know what I'm talking about, Mara?
Das ist eine andere Version, Diva. Das ist eine solide Selection. Oh, which ones are we going for? Oh, what's the what's the lie? What's it? This is Gabby, no? Yeah. Gabby number one. Pero, what's it now? Wakag. Is it like a Gabby as well? Different style. Like, is this? But I'm really confused. Are these both Gabby? Mm. But they're different. Yeah. Ah, sakto. We just need this. Let's do. Sakto. Make the soft You know what you remind me of, Mar? Uh, like Fall Out Boy. Like an emo rock band. Emo rock band. Pull over at the small tin to hands with the backyard farming and buy their gulai and, and bring them home and support local because that's awesome. Everything in that stand, except for the onions and garlic, is from this area. Probably the bluest and most beautiful I've seen the Catskill River. We went past Ali Wagwag and then right there we got hit with a big rainstorm at Maglahus. That's the barangay and there's a beautiful hanging bridge you can walk out across. Two years ago a massive to oak tree came down in a flood and knocked it out uh, but they've rebuilt it and yeah rain is here. We'll see you when we get to the house. No way. Look at that tannard post. That's new. Mm. The barangay tannards of San Antonio. That's, nice. they put numbers. That's they legit. Numbers. That's where the Manongs are going to hang out. Mm. We have a new barangay tannard post. Welcome back to barangay San Antonio. We're squeezing in a quick hot spring before everybody comes Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. It's gonna be jam packed crazy here, so. How is it now, okay? Hot spring for healing, the best. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> You fried the. What do you mean you fried it? Fried first. You fried it first. Browning. Oh, that's why the tunola mm. looks funky. Classic for a rainy evening after a hot spring. Straight from the mountain, the gulai. This is browning tunola, as in they fried it a little bit first. That's why you have a different color broth. Gisa. Gisa, yeah, gisa. Look at that. Oh. Just come in from sec. One thing before we shut this down for the evening. What's the difference between this tinola and your tinola in Luzon, love? Um, our tinola in Luzon doesn't have kamatis. And I think some also. No kamatis, no tomatoes in Luzon tinola. Is that true? Or is Thrine just making a joke with us? Really? 
remember last time I cooked here. Are you sure? Yeah. Is it? Do you know that? Is there really no tomatoes in Tinola in the zone? Is this a Bisaya thing? No. Oh. It's Tinola. Oh, I never thought about it's like, that. It's like, the bottom of the Oh yeah, sakto. It is like laram. Brad, you actually got some long rides, man. Yeah, I got the one. Yeah, that one that was so long, you just kept it going and going and going. I have it. Are you just gonna pop a whole garlic clove? Are you guys both doing this? Mm. Yeah, I'll get some garlic. This is our natural antibiotic mm. super. Mm. Dude, that smells really intense, man. Just the honey. Can you just eat a garlic clove as oh, well? Oh, you can if you want. Alright, starting our day right with a shot of garlic honey. <laughs> oh, you're making it a candy. <laughs> Actually, the honey's nice, but. I don't know about chewing the garlic clove. Maybe just pop it through. <laughs> Natural. In case you're wondering how we always stay fit and healthy. Ahus. Honey. I don't know. No, say honey in Filipino. In Bisaya, dugos. Oh, but just honey, diba? Polupokutan. 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 Ahus and polipokutan. Poli. Pulipakutan. 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 They call that panitan, as in cleaning the skin. Yeah. Have you ever had that? Look at the fish tapa. Yeah. Yeah. First time we got it, it's like in the dried fish mm. section. Mm. Is it good? Mm. I wanna. It's a good. Yeah. Wow. Basically, fish tapa from the bulad section in the grocery store. It's like. Yeah, that's a good description. I think. Sweet bulad and then. Yeah. With the sugar bar. Oh. Marinade. Yeah. It takes away a bit of the bajo mm. because of the sugariness. This is mm. chewy. Chewy. I'm good with rice, but so shall rice. Rice. <laughs> bajo. I have very good news. Married engineer has sent me a picture. Wow. Binignit. Alright, Kulang Lanka and Malake. We can get it. We're gonna make it. Gotta run some errands in town quickly before everything closes because it's Thursday tomorrow. It's Good Friday. So we're gonna kidnap Sir John, my friend.
something I've learned from the Philippines if you just nag enough. She's like, Siggy, Tana, Tana, Siggy, come on, come on, come on. Your, your friends will come with you. What's up, Coconut? Success! Na? Sige, malaki. Asa mga ito malaki ba? Kuhako? Sweet right? Kuhako? 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 We're just getting some malaki rice. It's the last thing we need for a village. 60. 60 a kilo? 1 kilo. Kuhako? Look at the look at the house. Huh? Boom. Okay. 1 kilo. Different. It's really white. Oh yeah. Hey, mm. Do you think that that one is red because of the sack? Huh? Why is it red? Because of the sack? No. Because of the sack. They just put red sack. Red sack. English Well, not English, but Warm, warm, hello, hello. Warm, hello, hello. Mix. Mix with ube. Ube, be, be, be. Ube, be. Oh, malak. Oh, that's the. Ah, uh, it's a sago. Oh, yeah, sago. Wait, this is vanilla flavoring? Wait. Oh yeah. Dude, but it's not real vanilla, is it? Yes, they extracted it. For 10... Really? For 10 pesos? It smells so good for vanilla. What do you... Hakwatko. Hakwat? Hakwatko. Hakwat. Hakwat. Hot what? Hak what? Hak what? Hak what? Hak what? Hak what? Hak what? H a k w a t. You know what's amazing actually in Filipino language? Everything's just syllable by syllable. Like for spelling, it's actually quite easy. Yeah. Hak. Hak what? What? Hak what? Is that cooking kahoy? All of our cooking kahoy got wet because uh, this has been some non-stop random mysterious 30 minute rainstorms. That's all. See you back at the house. Oh, I'm curious, how much is kahoy like a bundle like that? 60 pesos. Oh. Right there? And they salvage that from the driftwoods in the river. Really? Mm. So that's just driftwoods. Get yeah, there in front, look. Oh yeah, okay. That's literally it right there. One final thing in case you were wondering. This is hakwat. It's like carrying... Hakwat, bud? Hakwat. It's like carrying a pile of wood, no? Carrying anything, you bud? Hack what? Ah, uh, bud. Can you, uh, tabang? Dawat. Hack what to dawat. Hack what to dawat. Accept. He's accepting it. <laughs>